Hi guys, today I want to speak about something very important when it comes to putting yourself together, um, suffering from anxieties or depression or any dark moment in your life. And as I mentioned on the previous video, it's understanding what is actually happening, happening with you. For me, uh, I have a background when it comes to uh, psychology. Uh, I have a master's degree in pedagogy and I've been always interested in psychology. Um, so I knew quite a lot about it, but of course uh, life is life and I happened to experience uh, something, some very, very difficult moments when it comes to mental health. And during that time, especially last time, um, I was reading a lot about um, what's happening in your brain, actually, uh, when you experience um, anxieties or depression. And not only I was reading not only about that, I was also reading a lot about uh, well-being in general, about our life, about um, how we see ourselves, how our self-esteem and our attitude um, towards world influence actually our mental health. So there are a few books that I would like to recommend you um, to go through and I'm sure that they will be very beneficial. Uh, I would start uh, from the book Mindful Way Through Depression, Freeing Yourself from uh, Chronic Unhappiness. In the description later on, I will add all the titles and authors so that you can have a look. When it comes to the first position, um, it's actually something great. It gives You have their information about... Um, how your mind is behaving when you suffer from depression, how do you fall again into um, feeling down with your thoughts and there are useful exercises uh, that you can um, use in everyday life in order to run away from those uh, patterns and circles. Uh, it's written in a very pleasant way, uh, it's not complicated, it's not like a book from university, so it's accessible to everyone. Mm, I had a version for Kindle, but I know that um, if you get a book, there's, a no there's also a CD with uh, recordings um, that guides you through these exercises. So this is a number one absolutely uh, recommend it, uh, read it and for sure you will find a lot of those things there um, very familiar. Another book uh, when it comes to pure information about how your brain works uh, and this one it's actually about anxieties is Rewire Your Anxious Brain. Um, this is a very similar position to the first one, uh, just with the change that this is specifically about anxieties. It explains, um, you can check actually where is your anxiety coming from, from which part of the brain, whether it's from the amygdala or from the cortex. It also explains um, how can you change these patterns again uh, once you will know if it's coming from the amygdala or from the cortex. There, the authors are showing you the ways how you can rewire, so you can, let's say, learn, um, I'm sorry, teach your brain uh, new behaviors, like new uh, feelings towards uh, specific situations that are causing um, anxieties. It's actually very, very useful. Again, the exercises are very accessible um, and the book is written for everyone. Uh, it's very easy to read and very easy to understand. I think it's also a crucial position. Third book that I want to talk about, it's uh, Didn't Start With You. Uh, and 
this was the book that have opened my eyes a lot um, about where actually my fears and my anxieties and a big amount are coming from. The author is saying about uh, our fears and a lot of our behaviors um, coming from actually our family. And I don't want to speak about a lot uh, about the, the, the books in general because I think you should read them all just to have an understanding. But this was the book that made me realize that uh, by growing up in a specific environment, by having a mother that was also suffering from anxieties, um, I actually uh, absorb, I absorbed a lot and um, most likely uh, these were one of the um, things that have influenced me and caused uh, my experiences with uh, anxieties in my adult life. Uh, another book that I want to recommend is the Dear Anxiety, This Is My Life. The book actually I have read uh, around two years ago um, before my uh, total breakdown and it's about a man that have been suffering uh, from anxieties uh, for I think around seven years and he was experiencing like very very hard uh, psychosomatic uh, symptoms as well. He's been through hell. Uh, he was trying a numerous of uh, therapies. Um, he was, uh, you know, trying like some magic stuff and so on just to get rid of it, just to set himself free. And actually the author himself is now a therapist as well. A very good one, as I know. Um, and it's a good position actually to to read, to realize that you are not alone and that people out there have been living with the very rough um, stuff and they were able to overcome it and they were able to live their life again and to live it actually even better. Another position and actually the three uh, next books are a little bit different um, than these that I have mentioned now. Um, one of them I have read actually uh, quite recently when I already somewhat got better uh, and it's um, by Marisa Peer, I am enough, mark your mirror and change your life. Uh, it is about your self-esteem, it is about how much your self-esteem influence uh, your life in general that you know the thoughts deep in your mind related with the uh, fact that you don't deserve a specific job you don't deserve love and stuff like that um, that things that you aren't even aware of but they are somewhere um, wired uh, in your mind um, are actually holding you back from living a happy life this is a position and that I definitely um, also recommend to change uh, the way you are looking at yourself in order to change your life. Another book like that and it was like my treat actually. I love Oprah Winfrey and I have read what I know for sure written by her and um, She's writing there about things that she knows for sure that are important in life. And it all comes also to these little things that we should appreciate um, and be happy about. And the way we react at certain um, events in our life. And that a lot depends on uh, our reactions to stuff. I really loved it. I've been reading it uh, very quick and a lot of things felt uh, familiar to me. And the last uh, book that is uh, similar to the one uh, of Oprah, well, 
it helped me first of all to change the pattern of my everyday and depressed life and it was uh, the book magic the magic written by Rhonda uh, Byrne and it's like 28 days uh, of living with gratitude and um, in general changing um, everyday uh, living from seeing everything that is negative to seeing everything in a positive way and because I was you know every single day following it it helped me really to see things differently it helped me to appreciate little things and with that my mood with uh, would an increase in general so please have a look at all these positions please uh, try to read at least some of them and I'm sure that by understanding better your brain and seeing a little bit different everything that is around you will guide you eventually to healing and enjoying your life even more than you have been before. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video where I will share um, further simple life-changing practices that will free you from depression and anxieties. See you later.